Hey everyone, Sharon here, founder of 401kbestpractices.com, where I like to share proven strategies to help advisors grow a successful practice. Today I'm talking with Marco Brown, owner, founder, creator of C, and he's going to be answering some questions and sharing with us a plan design comparison tool for financial advisors. So Marco, welcome and thank you for taking the time to share this software that you've created with us. Hey, Sharon, thanks for having me. Uh, it's my pleasure. How about we start just by walking through a little bit, or maybe if you could explain what PSCNet is. PSCNet is a plan design tool. It takes in a company census and creates a side-by-side -side comparison of different plan types. For example, age-weighted versus new comp versus social security integrated profit sharing and straight up profit sharing along with combination plans that would include 401k, so a safe harbor combination plan, or a 401k with a new comp and so forth. Sounds like something I wish was available when I was an active advisor, because plan design is not an area of expertise for a lot of advisors. Who do you find is the main audience for your tool? Who would benefit most from using it? We have two main audience, the TPAs, use our products as a what I would say a super user. I think most TPAs understand the concepts of, of profit sharing, new comp, and so forth. And the users that we've been really trying to go after is the advisors. So we have tried and created a tool that's pretty straightforward and simple for the advisors who don't have experiences in the, new, the more complicated plan designs, but want to explain them to their clients. Makes sense. Is it possible to look at a sample report or do you want Absolutely. to start on the actual software side? Let, so, let me show you a quick it. sample report. Okay. I'll walk you through it real quick. So here's a look at a report that was created by a product. It's a PDF and we could export this PDF, export the actual report to a spreadsheet if that's easier. But I think a PDF gives you a, an idea of what we're doing. You can tell that we use graphs and charts to explain the advantages or disadvantage of certain plan designs. We give the comprehensive side-by-side -side comparison of the different plans, separated in this case by HCEs and non-HEs. We could also do it by owners and non-owners and so forth. We give, again, some narratives on the, describing the plan and its features, again, with some charts showing the disparity or the comparison of contributions to each group. And finally, we give a more detailed account for each plan designs and how the, again, the contribution breaks down between non-HEEs and HEEs in this case, and actually give you talking points for the client interaction on why one plan is better than the other. And then we, again, more details. And one of the things we try to do is stay away from the pension jargon that some of our colleagues use that's just simpler explained to employers. And I'm just rushing through this so I can show you how comprehensive the report is. We do a compliance analysis for a new comp and so forth. Okay. So again, we look at this as a tool, all right? We call it a pre-compliance tool. So you can actually examine if your compliance is going to be fine after the plan and before it gets to the record keeper. But it's really a tool to show the employer which plan is going to best benefit their situation. And sometimes it's an education because they don't realize that, they're, that the options that they have out there. Yeah, it looks extremely comprehensive. One of the questions that I have is obviously a tool like this requires data to run the report. So how does an advisor yeah. typically get the data for that? Absolutely. So again, yeah, we need a, the census from the employer. But in our case, what we've tried to do, knowing how tough it is to get a census, is to get the smallest portion of the census. In other words, we don't require social security number. We don't require year-to-date income. What we require is date of birth, date of hire, and income, and obviously a name and identifier for that employee. The more data that we have, is the more comprehensive the report is going to be. So we take into account family attribution. So is a, is a participant related to an owner? We take it trying to determine who is the HCE and non HCE. So we may need ownership information and so forth. We take that information into an Excel spreadsheet, and then you, you can easily import it into our system and create these reports. But you can also, of, of course, input the data manually 
if you'd like. Okay, it sounds pretty simple. Is it possible to walk through a demo of behind the scenes generating the report? Absolutely, let's do a quick walk through here. Okay. Get to the, so let me get to the main menu and here's the main menu. After logging in, you can sign up on our website. I think we will have some information on where to go for that. Once you sign up on our website and log in, you're taken to this screen. And by the way, you do not need a credit card immediately to sign up. The first time you sign up, there's a 14-day trial, and you can actually use those 14 days to create real reports and send them out to the client and just for your education and, and things like that. For each system, we have a little get started, quick start to highlight the basics of getting the data into the system and getting out a, a report. Okay, let me walk you through that real quick. So we'll get back to the main menu. We'll click on the what I call the brain icon and we'll create a plan. Now you're at the main dashboard of the product showing the clients that are already in the system and giving you the ability to add new clients. So I'm gonna add a new client. I'm gonna add, hit save. It takes a little while, it will take you. And again, the thing that we've learned through the years is that the, but the more you default to what you need in terms of the data, the less changes and less information that you need is the quicker you're gonna get these reports out. And that's what we've aimed to do with this product. So we're gonna import the census, okay? The two main pieces of inf information that you need to create these reports is obviously the census. You also need some basic plan information. Let's start with the census real quick. We'll import that. We give you the ability to import from an Excel spreadsheet, but you can also import from a CSV file, okay? And we also give you the ability to download a template. So if you don't have a, let's call it empty import file for your clients, you can send, it, send them one of ours. You can easily download it from here. We really recommend that you do that. So the advantage of using one of our templates is it maps your data with our fields automatically, okay? So once you import that, there's really nothing to do but hit start on the import, okay? So far, pretty simple. And there. That is all you need to run your first report because we can actually go right now to the reports menu and run a report. And I'm going to back out of this for one second only because this is a system that's been used and it's beyond its 14 days. It's now prompting me to pay for the report. And this would be the same thing in our pay to go model. So you can actually pay as you go, pay 50 bucks for each report that you run. Okay. We hit view report and you'll see something very similar to the sample report that we showed you earlier. And this is without any input after importing the census. What the system does, it takes the default, it determines who the HCEs are, and it assumes that you want to maximize those HCEs and minimize the contribution to the rank and file. And it creates this report for you, okay? This now, is just one sample. Marco, what if the goals were backwards? What if they wanted to maximize the rank and file and didn't care as much about the HCEs. Is there a way to identify what the goals are or is Absolutely. that based on the type of report that you run? It is certainly based on the goals that you select. So at the plan objective screen, you can easily determine what your goals are. So your goals could be a budget goals. You could say, I want to do 10% of the payroll or you want a, a budget solution. You want to select a group or an individual employee where or not they're in the highly compensated group and create a report that will benefit those participants and then rerun the report, okay? Great, thank you. But in most cases that we see, the goal is, is probably to take advantage, if you will, of the new comp using age and ownership. And I can show you that report if you wanna see that again. But it'll look a little, a little different in terms of how the money is distributed. You'll notice that the file, and there it is. Given a little bit more in this case, in the new comp, we're actually allowed to give the highly comp group zero and give the non highly comp group as much as they can take. This looks like an amazing tool, especially for identifying and comparing the various types of plans out there and which one's going to make the most sense based on what the company is looking for. Yeah, when I first saw this, Marco, I thought, I wish there was something like this when I was an advisor. I appreciate you taking the time to share this today with other advisors. 
And if somebody wants to learn more, wants to sign up, how do they get a hold of you then? You can go to our website, which is pensiononline.com, and either contact us via the 800 number, via email, info at pensiononline.com will get to us. Or you can actually sign up for a trial and try out your product. It's a live product, so any reports you run are presentable and fully ready to be shipped to clients or examined. After that, there's some different payment option, pay as you go that we demonstrate, which is 50 bucks per report. That's a intro price. And we have other pricing for longer subscription and more users and features. Wonderful. Is there anything that I didn't ask or that you think advisors should know about before we wrap up this demo? I think that was a pretty good, it pretty much covers the basics. Of course, if you need any more information or if you have a question, please reach out. Thank you so much, Marco. I really appreciate it. Thanks for the opportunity, Sharon. I appreciate your time and giving us the forum.